Welcome to a special edition of Goodnight GSE. Tonight, I will be reading to my kids before bed, and I will be reading a very special story. Before we get there, though, it's important that you know how to pick a good bedtime story. Do not pick something that will be too scary. For example, my journal, From Light to Dark and Back Again, a Vader story, would not be a good decision. The Star Wars Encyclopedia. These are things that you must know. The movies are not enough. But not before bed. Too much. A lot of words I cannot pronounce. I'm going to skip over my Yoda shelf and the book playing with the enemy. Although, who doesn't love Baby Yoda? I will take you to the top of my shelf where the very special books rest. And you will see tonight I will be reading Good Night, Darth Vader. What is this behind it? Oh, Yoda, best dad ever. You're right, I am. Now, let me go get my kids so we can put them to bed while reading Good Night, Darth Vader. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, episode 8 p.m. bedtime, Lord Darth Vader rules the galaxy while attempting to rule his twin children, Luke and Leia Skywalker. He has commanded them to go to bed, but they have other ideas. Luke, Leia, join me and I will complete your bedtime. Now! Why do we have to go to bed? <laughs> if only you knew the power of sleep. Read us a story! Yeah! As you wish. It's hard to sleep if you're annoyed. For example, if C-3PO is going on and on, if I may say so, I merely commented that a perfectly acceptable blah, blah, blah. Now it's time to shut down each droid. When Jar Jar puts on his PJs for bed, he always ends up with a bonk on the head. Dexter's diner is quiet with few patrons in sight. Soon it'll be time to turn off the light. Zaboba races to always be best, except when you lost to me. Even when he gets his beauty rest, we all know I'm the best at pod racing. Poor Darth Maul is pacing long into the night. He's wide awake and can't sleep, try as he might. Padme is tired after too many galas. So sleep is quite welcome for Queen Amidala. Yes, moms need to sleep as well. It takes a long time. In fact, nothing takes longer for battle droids to say goodnight to each other. Roger, 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 I don't like battle droids. Ahsoka the Padawan is not ready for bed. But she drifts off to sleep when she lays down her head. I taught her all those tricks. It's bedtime on Kashyyyk for all the Wookiees. So now they climb high to sleep up in the trees. Getting ready for bed, General Grievous is done. Four times faster than anyone. Yeah, he has all those arms. Of course he can get ready for bed so fast. If only you kids could get ready that fast. In the arena, it's always a fight to settle the creatures all down for the night. The archives are silent, the Jedi all sleeping. Jocasta can now rest her eyes after reading. The raiders they sleep, the days roaming a chore. While outside, the Banthas contentedly snore. In terms of people I dislike in the galaxy, these guys are high on my list. Ben goes to bed early. He is very wise. He sets his alarm for a bright early rise. Oh, I see what they did there. He's in the Death Star. Oh, wait a minute. 
The Jawas have all gone inside for the night. But now they will argue who should turn off the light. It's too hard to sleep for Han Solo and Chewie. In this wretched hive of scum and villainy. Bounty hunters tuck in all ready and set. Except for young Boba and his dad Jingle Fett. Oh, Jango, trust me, I know exactly how you feel. It's easy to sleep on the Cloud City gleaming. Where Lando and Lobot lie peacefully dreaming. Good night, Falcon. Sleep tight. Don't let the space slug bite. Time for bed. It is for Yoda. And all of the swampy Dagoboa. The sons of Tatooine have set in the west. It's time for the Sarlacc to sleep and digest. All through the night, Jabba's palace is a roar. The party's too loud for the sleepy Rancor. I bet you I could beat a Rancor without a lightsaber. Too noisy outside for baby Ewoks. It's best when the Empire's been silenced with rocks. Okay, never mind. I don't like these guys. It's hard to be cozy when living in trash. But when he gets tired, Dianoga will crash. Near the Emperor's bedroom, guards hear noise from within. Oh no, what is it? As Palpatine talks in his sleep once again. Yes, he does do that quite often. The fleet goes to bed asleep in the stars. Except not just yet for one hungry Akbar. Ah, oh, such a good book. Getting very tired, Luke and Leia. Good night, Death Star. I think that was asleep. Again? No, I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm sorry. This is the pillow you've been looking for. You will sleep all night. Good night, Luke. Good night, Leia. Good night, Darth Vader. Thank you for listening to tonight's special story, Good Night, Darth Vader, by Jeffrey Brown. Hopefully you agree with me that this book is... Impressive. Most impressive.